Hello, hello. It's been another exciting week in AI, and one of the things I've been talking to business owners in the last week has been how chatbots work. I figured I'd film this quick tutorial or explanation of how these different apps are being created. This will explain what those different options are, so figure out which AI chatbot is going to be best for you. You can have this knowledge, so that way you can make the best decision on uh, which AI chatbot is best for you and your business. <laughs> How do AI chatbots work? So essentially, there are three buckets that we can use to illustrate how these chatbots work. So this first bucket is OpenAI, and this is the API that nearly all developers are using to create their AI application. Everything is being built on top of this OpenAI API. So yeah, most AI apps are actually built on top of this OpenAI API. This is key to know because this is where you are typically interacting with ChatGPT. So ChatGPT is essentially an application that's built on top of OpenAI. OpenAI is where all of the processing and programming and all of that stuff is being done. And as users, we're interacting with it on a daily basis with ChatGPT. Now, if we wanna create our own applications, we can build our own apps and utilize OpenAI's API keys to create these things. Second piece is the base prompt. So this, the base prompt is essentially what you would typically write into ChatGPT as act as like a marketing agent and create a marketing plan for my business or act as a uh, engineer programmer and generate some Python code to, do a, to perform a list of tasks or something like that. But what's key about this is this is static. So this is information that's always gonna pertain to your business. When you have a base prompt, you want this to include information that is not gonna necessarily change over time. So for example, if my base prompt, if I was creating an AI chatbot for my business, base prompt would include, you are acting as a, an executive customer support agent for SiteRight. You should only talk and answer questions about SiteRight. So this is all gonna be mostly the generic and general information about your business. This is where all of the top level information is gonna be held. Now, one of the restrictions that we have with OpenAI as a platform that we are building on top of, we are limited to about 4,000 characters in the text that we are able to send to OpenAI. Once OpenAI does its thing, it then will send the information back for us to use that and process it in, in a different way. So because we're limited to only 4,000 characters, we can't put all the information about your business in this base prompt. And so why, that's why this is only, so that's why this is only general information. This is not gonna be the entire knowledge base about everything related to you, your business, your product, your offer, your services, pricing, etc. This is only gonna be the base level information, who it is, what they're trying to do, who the bot is, what the bot is uh, assigned to do, and how they are assigned to do it. That's where we get to this third part. So the third part is how do we extend all of this information so it knows all of that other information about your pricing and your business and your offers. And that's where this third bucket comes in and that's what we call the knowledge base. The knowledge base is basically a database of text that is representative of the information about you and your business. So for example, you could upload PDFs, you could upload text documents, you could also, there's a bunch of uh, options for uh, you to put in your website URL and then it will scrape all of the text from your website and put that into a document and then that can be uploaded. But essentially this is gonna be all of the little information about you and your business, all the details. How does this interact with each other? So what we're trying to do is when a user, when somebody you know, like me, if I I'm, if I'm wanna learn more about this business, I'm going to have a question and how does this respond as an AI chatbot? So if I have a question and I ask it to the chatbot, what's gonna happen is the, the bot is going to take out all of the ancillary, key, uh, ancillary words that don't matter. So for example, and the, a, then, but, um, like all the words that aren't necessarily keywords that are hyper-specific to information that could be related to you or your business. And what it's gonna do is whatever's left, it's gonna take those keywords 
and it's going to semantic search the knowledge base to match the keywords that are in what I asked to what it has in the knowledge base. What it's then going to do is then going to take the sentences that are around the corresponding matched keywords. It's then going to append that information to the base level prompt. It's going to add it to the bottom of that base level prompt. The entire prompt is going to read as, here's the information for your business. Here's how you're interacting with people like me who are asking questions. Here's the general information about your business. And here's the contextual information about what it is the person is asking in relation to the information that's in your knowledge base about you and your business. This entire prompt then gets sent to OpenAI. OpenAI generates the response based off of the static information and the dynamic information, which is contextual based off of the, uh, the question. It's then going to generate the response and then it's going to send it back to me to where I receive as the user a response that answers the question that I had using the information from the knowledge base on top of the information that's in the base prompt using OpenAI's magic to create this AI chatbot. I know that might be a little confusing, but the idea here is for you to understand how you can upload your content into a knowledge base that then can be understood by whatever app that you're using to create the AI chatbot. There's literally hundreds of different options out there, so it can be a little confusing, but this should give you a little bit more context about how these different AI chatbots work. So that way you are more knowledgeable when you want to make a decision on which AI chatbots going to work for you and your business. If you have any other questions about this, feel free to leave a comment below. I'll be happy to answer and I'll see you guys in the next one.